going to look at directory based co cache coherence protocol topics to cover are getting acquainted with cache coherence directory based protocol comparing snooping based and directory based protocol the implementation and messages of directory based protocol and finally the conclusion what is cache coherence it is maintaining a consistency between the private cache and the main memory there are instances where the shared data copy can be invalid let's now consider the below example consider a multi processor system with two microprocessors suppose an address a has a value 5 in its main memory at start p2 instantiates a read for address a then the value is stored in p2's private cache second p1 instantiates read operation for an address a and then again the value is stored in p1's private cache after that p2 instantiates a write operation for address a and write value 7 in its private cache thus the data in p1's cache is invalidated let's dive into directory based protocol the implementation of protocol consists of directory associated with memory the directory maintains the state of every block of memory that may be cached consider directory as a filter which the processor must pass through the load a primary memory to its cache every time an entry is changed the directory updates or invalidates other cache with that entry a single directory solution is not scalable in multi core system as overhead is very large thus the distributed solution with block of memory assigned to a particular directory is used this is the system diagram for directory based implementation notice that each node consists of processor or microprocessors with its private cache and a memory block with its associated directory and interconnection network routes traffic between different nodes the communication between nodes is point to point communication now let's look the difference between snooping and directory based protocol Snooping protocol is used in a system with few microprocessors and centralized memory whereas directory based protocol is used in systems with large number of microprocessors and distributed memory in snooping protocol requires broadcast while directory based does not use broadcast In snooping protocol bus utilization can cause longer wait times in directory based protocol coherence is maintained through directory here is the directory implementation implementation has directory memory and nodes have point to point communication the access time for machines to local memory is fast and that to remote memory is slow thus they have non uniform memory access which is called numa here are the different cache block states maintained by directory first is shared where one or more nodes have the block cached and the value in memory is up to date second is uncached where no node has a copy of the cache block third modified state exactly 
one node has the copy of the cache block and it has written to the block and the memory is out of sync. Different meaning of nodes. Nodes have different meanings according to the originated request. First, local. This is the node where the request originates. Second, home node where the memory location and the directory entry of the request address is present. Third, remote node. Alternate location of data if the current copy is present in another processor. Cache block can be modified or shared state. Now let's consider an example of read miss for uncached block. A read operation originated in P1. Thus, the P1 is a local node and is highlighted by the green color. The P1 does not have the cached copy of the memory. The request is sent to the home node, that is P2, with a message of read miss. If P2 has the data, a data value reply message is sent to P1. Now let's consider a read miss for an modified remote block. Suppose a read request is originated from P2 and if it is a miss, then a read miss message is sent to P2. Now, the P2 doesn't have the latest copy as the memory is in the modified state in P3. Now, P2 sends a fetch message to P3 and P3 responds with the data write back message to P2. Now, P2 has the latest copy and sends a data value reply message to P1. Here, P3 is a remote block. Now, let's consider a write miss for modified state with remote block. If P1 in initiates a write operation and it is a miss, then P1 will send a write miss message to home node P2. P2 does not have the latest copy, thus sends a fetch and invalidate message to remote node P4. Then P4 responds with write back message to P2 and invalidates its copy. P2 then sends a data value reply to local node P1. Here are the different directory protocol messages with its source node, destination node and the contents of message. The operations are explained in previous slides. Notice that data is seen only during data value reply and data write back message. To conclude, we have seen the implementation of directory based protocol. This solution is scalable even for large number of microprocessors as the memory is distributed and point-to-point -point messages are sent. In this protocol, directory is associated with memory keep a track of cache block states. Here are the references for the presentation. Thank you.